Today we are going to discuss about one of the usual error a potentially dangerous request form value was detected from the client. Let's consider when you get this error. This error is mainly obtained when some unencoded HTML contents are entering into the server. That means somebody is trying to send these kinds of script to the server. There is a feature in ASP.NET which is called a request validation which prevents these kinds of script attacks. When request validation is enabled on the server and somebody is trying to send unencoded HTML content, this issue happens. Let's consider how to resolve this issue. For that, we need to turn off the request validation feature of ASP.NET. Thereby, we are allowing this cross script attack to the server. We strongly recommend not to turn off the request validation feature because this is an inbuilt functionality for preventing the script attack. We can disable the request validation feature in two levels, one in the page level and another in the application level. Let's consider how to disable the request validation feature at page level. For that, there is a property named validation request for each ASP page, which needs to be set to false, as well as on web.config inside HTTP runtime node. We need to set the request validation mode to 2.0 or above. By this way, we can disable the request validation feature at page level. Now, let's consider how to disable the request validation for the entire application. For that, on web.config, in say system.web, we have to introduce a node named pages and we have to set the validate request property to false. As well as, we need to set Inside HTTP runtime, the request validation mode to 2.0 or above. By this way, we can disable the request validation feature for the entire application. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please visit technomark.in for more information.